is Christian's favorite story. Before we go, a story in which our two worlds collide. My passion for random animal stories and Christian's obsession, yes, with terrible puns to the first part that introduce you to the animal. Here is a video that caught the moment when a moray eel leaves the water and propels itself up a ramp to grasp a bite of squid, and then uses its tongue, like a conveyor belt, to slide that squid backwards towards a secret second set of jaws. Amazing. Uh, me reaching for the biscuits on the top shelf. Anyway, headline writing is a science all of its own, and so I tip my cap to the writer at the New York Times who came up with this. When an eel climbs a ramp to eat squid from a clam, that's amore. I'd be so proud of that. I mean, I can't think there's any point carrying on after that. Just retire. Retire early. Anyway, it started a trend. They've all piled it. So here's a few of the others on social media. When an eel wants a squid that's on land, God forbid, that's amore. If the squid is too flat, there's no problem with that. That's amore. Equally good. If the squid is so big it still eats like a pig, that's amore. I think you'll find that one or two of those are our tentacle. Tentacle. I tentacle. You can always rely on Christian. He'll always come up with a bad pun. <laughs> Brilliant. No, hats off to the New York Times for that. Very good. If there was a Pulitzer for headlines about eels... If they need a reserve... I think they'd get it. They know where to come. If Nobel they need a Prize Maybe for Literature for Times. Headlines. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs>